Welcome back to the video. I'm your tech guy Wayne and today I want to show you how to unlock your Samsung Galaxy A15 so you can use it with any carrier. The first thing you'll need to do is go to your phone app and you'll want to go to make sure you're on the keypad and you're going to type in star pound zero six and pound. This is going to show you your IMEI information. You're going to write down um, the first number you'll see here. We're going to use that in the next step of the video. Next, we're going to go back to the home screen, go to your Google Chrome app, and go to the website, theunlockingcompany.com, and just fill out a few prompts, starting with the manufacturer, which is going to be Samsung. And then the model, you're going to go to the G section, Galaxy A15 5G, and then tap Unlock Phone. Now, on the next screen, it's going to ask you a few more questions, so they'll want to know you know, what country you purchased the phone in. So, uh, United States, the carrier is gonna be AT&T. And then um, where it says IMEI number, you'll tap in this box, and we're gonna type in that IMEI that we got in the first step of the video. Now, once you do that, um, you'll get your price. You'll, sh you'll see exactly what it'll cost to unlock the phone. In this case, this phone is going to cost $27.99 uh, to unlock it. Now, again, depending on the carrier that you choose, the, the pricing does vary slightly. Um, and it'll take about one, one hour to about 72 hours for them to get back to you with the final unlocking instructions. Understand that um, the process to unlock phones is different for every carrier, and it does change from time to time, so just keep that in mind. Um, if you're good with the time frame and the price, you'll go up, you'll add it to cart, you, you'll check out and pay, and from there, that's when your clock will start, and you'll look out for an email with those final instructions. Now, a couple of things I want to point out, and the reasons why I like this website, is at the very top of the screen, you'll find uh, different ways to reach out to the company if you ever have any issues with unlocking the phone or, or with the steps they sent you. You have a number to call, a number to text, an email address and a WhatsApp number. So you have a few different methods to reach out to the company to follow up if you ever have any issues with the phone. So that's a big plus there. Now, once you get those final unlocking instructions, you'll follow the steps. You'll also wanna have your SIM card ready to go uh, of, the, of the new service that you wanna use. So for example, if you're trying to use it with, a, with a T-Mobile, for example, make sure you have your T-Mobile SIM card ready to go and you'll want to grab the SIM tool that you'll find in the box of the phone. Um, so you can take out the old SIM card and put in your new SIM card for the service you want to use the phone with. If you can't find the box of your phone, simply find a paper clip and just bend it back and you can use the tip of the paper clip to take out the SIM card. Now for this phone, the SIM card tray is on the left side right here. You'll take this pin and you'll put it in and just pop out this tray. And that's where you'll insert your new SIM card. And that's it. Hope you guys found this helpful. If it was, hit that like button down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Also, um, I've made uh, over 10 videos on the Samsung Galaxy A15. And so um, if you are looking for more videos on just how to use this phone and just wanting to learn more of what you can do with it, check out um, these two videos here and here. And uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more videos that are coming along the way. Thanks again for watching. Take care, and as always, have a good one.